What's going on guys, uh, Digi Destin here, and I just wanted to make a video real quick uh, about the Super Nintendo. So, I have the Super Nintendo, I found it recently, um, but I did mention in one of my other videos that there were multiple board revisions uh, for the Super Nintendo console. And uh, with the board revisions came better graphics and better audio. Uh, so this video, more or less, is just a video of me taking this apart, uh, checking the board revision, and showing you how you can check the board revision uh, to see if you have an optimal uh, Super Nintendo. So, uh, with that being said, let's get started. So the first thing I want to show you is this site here. It's Retro RGB. Um, it's a solid resource if you're into, you know, video quality and getting the most out of your retro games. Um, it's a brief history of the the board revisions here. You can read through that. Uh, but mostly, what we want to get to is this one chip here, right there. So two chip versus one chip. Uh, it's a lot better if you can see it like with your own eyes. So visit rgb.com uh, SNES version compare html and uh they'll give you a pretty solid you know comprehensive guide on on what a one chip console is so with that mini lesson let's get go ahead and tear this thing apart and see if we have a one chip model so the most important thing that you do need for this tear down uh not tear down this disassembly is uh one of these here this is a a 4.5 millimeter security bit it's got a star pattern See that uh, the one that's most commonly used for like Super Nintendo games or NES games is the the 3.8 millimeter. So this is the bigger version. Version we need the 4.5 millimeter, and we also need a, a Phillips screwdriver. First thing you want to do, turn your console over. There's going to be six security bits, security screws, and you're just going to take those out. All right, so now that you have all your security bits removed, uh, all six of them, uh, you're gonna flip the console back over and you're gonna carefully remove the top, just lift up. Go ahead and set it aside. And here we have the, the motherboard for the Super Nintendo. Uh, nothing too complicated, uh, but the next step that you want to do is remove the eject button and this, this shield, this dust shield, uh, and it should reveal uh, what which board revision you have. It's actually gonna be somewhere right around uh, right here, like along the, the cartridge uh, pins. See, see that rod moves in and out. If you pull it out to the to your right, you should be able to remove it. Go ahead and set that to the side, someplace you can find it. And then uh, you're gonna, next you're gonna remove two Phillips here for the power switch. And then uh, two Phillips on each side of the board. One right here underneath the power switch and one on the other side, right next to the reset. Okay, now that you have your screws removed, the two from the power switch and the two on the dust shield, you can go ahead and lift it up, and put that to the side. <clears throat> and in bright white bold letters, it's gonna tell you the board type right there. So it looks like this one is a SNS CPU RGB 01. Well, unfortunately, this one is not a one chip version. Uh, this is an RGB 01. I typically, there's a few things that you can check on the exterior that might give you an indication of one chip. Uh, for example, uh, this here, this is the eject button. Uh, early models had this eject actually printed on it, and later models had this, um, I guess as a part of the mold. Uh, also, what you can check out is on this bottom there's an extension port cover. If you lift that up, there's, I'm not sure if you can see, but you can see that metal in there. And there's like one or two uh, pieces of like a pin of some sort. It almost looks like a pin. And uh, typically the one chip models have three of them, if I recall correctly. So I don't have a, a one chip model to compare, but I do have another one here. So this was the original that we took apart in this video. It says 1994 SNS CPU RGB 01. And this is another Super Nintendo that I was able to take apart real quick. Uh, this one is a 1993 revision SNS CPU GPM 02. Another indication you can tell is um, 
this small number here right next to the capacitors you get that to focus um, that number right there it says SNS 02 and I think that's to represent uh, the board SNS uh, dash 02 whereas on the one we took apart this one says uh, RGB 01 to represent RGB 01 on the board so uh, those are just a couple indicators if you do have a, a one chip version of the Super Nintendo it's probably gonna say right here next to the capacitors and the power supply uh, as well as underneath the dust cover uh, next to the, the cartridge pins. So with that being said, hopefully you learned a little bit on uh, you know the bo different board revisions of Super Nintendo. Uh, this one right here, the 1994 RGB01, is going to have a slightly, slightly better um, you know video display uh, compared to the one that we took apart, the GPM02. Uh, one chip is obviously the best. All of the consoles. Uh, do support RGB natively, uh, so you can get RGB cords for it uh, or component cords for it, and it should look great either way. Um, but one chip is optimal. If you did like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, please check out some of my other videos, you know, other tips and tricks, uh, other pickups, and gameplay. So, uh, with that being said, we'll see you on the next one.